Hi, my name is Tom Phillips. I'm the president of the Chief Engineers Association of Chicagoland and are here to provide you with educational information with regards to the COVID-19 outbreak. We are working with Pat Hickey and Bob Maroney from Midway Building Services, as well as Jim Miller from Spartan Chemicals. At this time, I will turn it over to Pat Hickey and his team to provide you with some details on how to remediate your facilities. Thank you very much. Midway has a 24-hour emergency service number, but most of our customers call myself, on my cell, or Bob, are available 24 hours a day. The facilities that we're disinfecting currently, uh, office spaces, banks, manufacturing plants, food processing plants, construction sites, call centers, hotels, hospitals, schools, dormitories, Our crews can disinfect a large area overnight. We can do approximately 400,000 square feet. Midway Building Services has the time to disinfect these buildings where you guys can maintain your building. We're there to help. Engineers can disinfect spaces themselves, but when you have a large area, a lot of engineers don't have that amount of time or the capability. Or the, or the equipment. Or the equipment. You can disinfect small areas. As an engineer, you can do your wiping of your ladders or your specific small area. But if you want an entire space clean, if you don't have the equipment, if you don't have an electrostatic sprayer, that's where you need our team to come in and disinfect your entire building, area, office. Our guys are they're, they're correct fitting the PPE gear. They're trained in all the equipment used. Um, they get certifications from the IICRC, from other outsources, to understand how the COVID-19 works on surfaces, what the procedure is to disinfect correctly. Well, we, what we all have to remember is this is only a five-month-old virus. It just just came upon, upon us all in five months, five months ago. So everything's evolving. Every day is a learning experience. And the CDC, the EPA, uh, the, uh, the World Health Organization, they're all learning each day. And there's a lot of information that's being dispersed, and that's what we do for a living. The type of PPE gear the guys are wearing is really important because it protects our guys, our crews that are in there working. The OSHA guidelines to follow the correct PPE gear, which is really important in this process. No one can just jump in and start spraying without understanding how the product works and making sure that you're protected with full face masks, rubber gloves, Tyvek suits, and you're putting them on correctly. The way the electrostatic sprayers work is they take the disinfectant at the proper dilution, it takes the solution out of the reservoir tank and puts it through a tube that charges it at the tank with a positive charge. Most of your surfaces have a negative charge, so it's like a magnet, opposites attract each other. So they, you spray the solution out of the electrostatic sprayer and will literally wrap itself around those surfaces. So it's, it's an outstanding applicator for chemicals. Is it safe for all surfaces? Yes, you can use it on any water washable surface. It will not harm it at all. The difference between an electrostatic sprayer and a fogger is a fogger is going to disperse aerosolize chemical throughout the year. The, um, the foggers are going to go up in the air and where it falls, it falls. With an electrostatic sprayer, where you point that sprayer, that product's going to gravitate to. You cannot disinfect the air, uh, but it's really important with this COVID-19 to have airflow, which is, I think, you know, in all the buildings, you really want to get that positive airflow to push any particles that are in the air to keep them flowing out is the key. On the airflow, when we're going into buildings, we're talking to the building engineers and we're asking them to keep their fans on to keep the air circulating through the night as most of the process that we do is after hours. A lot of clients are asking how long the disinfectant lasts 
after we're done with the electrostatic spraying process. Well, as soon as someone walks back in within that space, touches the surface, the surface can be recontaminated. The engineers could actually get a product from Spartan, talk to Jim Miller on some additional cleaning products that you can use to do touch-ups. Jim? So we have two different types of products that are available right now. We have a product called TB Cyclot, which is a ready-to-use port product. That can be used uh, just for your high-touch areas throughout the day because I think that's going to be the new norm as far as uh, cleaning process with making people feel comfortable in the buildings. And we also have a concentrated product if you want a concentrated product, which is called Alt. And that's a two ounce per gallon product that has a 10 minute blow time. I mean, with these products, these are all EPA registered products, Jim? Correct. They're all EPA registered. And uh, they're recommended by the CDC. The CDC has a list of products that they recommend that people use. They're, you they go in to buy a product at Juul, doesn't mean it's going to kill COVID 19. So this is really important to follow the CDC guidelines and the EPA registration products. That's correct. Yeah, we're taking pictures. Um, we send out work reports. We give them back to the clients showing that the, while the guys are actually working, we take pictures um, of them spraying, of them wiping the areas. And then we show them the square footage as each office is listed along with um, Get a full, full well, it's the new norm. Documentation, everyone's going to want documentation on everything that they're doing uh, that's being done in their buildings to make sure that the proper procedures are being followed and the proper products are being used for the safety of the tenants and employees that are in their buildings. I want to thank Pat, Bob, and Jim for their useful information, and I'd ask you to please visit our website at www.chiefengineer.org for more information on virtual meetings. Thank you very much.